hey guys we're back again with another video and y'all already know so okay in this video we're gonna make a wig using some old bundles yes honey we're actually gonna slay this wig and get into it get into it um yes we're gonna slay her today you guys i'm definitely excited to be back i know times are crazy right now but hopefully this video can brighten up you guys day and yeah hopefully you guys can learn how to slay a wig so we're gonna use some old bundles um this is this these bundles are from my collection you guys i've had these bundles for like three years they've just been sitting in the bag in the bottom of my closet but yeah it's still great quality they're cut up they're tangled um but we're definitely gonna revive them and slay a wig so, all right, this wig we're gonna make today is gonna be hand sewn. Um, I wanted to give you guys a little bit more tips and tricks of how to just, you know, make a wig, whether you guys are making a wig for yourself, whether you're making it for a client, or just if you guys are just interested in this information. So you guys wanna keep your stitches close and very neat and flat as always. Um, I'm speeding it up here because I'm not gonna record the whole process. I've made plenty of wigs on my channel before. All you gotta do is scroll down. I'll leave some links in the in the description box. I can't even talk, you guys. <laughs> but I'll leave some links in the description box for you guys, just to help you guys out. You know, just with your wig making needs. But as you guys can see, I'm working pretty quickly. Um, but I'm gonna slow it down so you guys can see just the techniques that I'm gonna do, the things that I'm doing, the things that I'm using. So, as you guys can see right here, to start off the track, I'm just going to line everything up. I'm going to pin everything in place. Pinning is very important when you're making wigs. And also grafting the wig. That's why you guys see those lines on there. Because you definitely want to map out where the tracks are going to go. You want to map out if you have enough hair. Um, that's what guidelines are really for you guys you can literally measure a whole wig to see if the hair is going to stretch to see if it's not you know doing those little things they really help you and as you guys can see i pin as i go so if you guys have any split tracks or any cut tracks this is how you literally line it up to where your wig can still be seamless and extra flat you line it up to ex the exact point you pin everything in place you cut as needed um now since these tracks were already cut i don't really care about cutting them <laughs> so i'm just gonna cut them up even more again like i said you guys this hair has been sitting on the bottom of my closet for like three years without me even using it and i was like you know what i want to make a wig i want to show you guys you guys can use old bundles and you know make a new wig so we're gonna start off at the edge right here this is a ventable no it's a ventilated breathable stretchable cap um we're gonna start off the edge and as you guys can see i'm doing the loop and knot method so when i loop and knot my thread i'm gonna press down just to ensure that that seam is extra flat y'all know me i'm a perfectionist i like my wigs flat honey if it's not flat then pretty official didn't do it okay sis period so yeah you guys i do a loop and pull method kind of where you guys can see those two guards right there to give the wig more construction i do the loop and knot method right until i get to the end point of that section and then from there i just loop everything around keeping my stitching really close really neat now being that this was a wig for me i didn't do this too neat but i'll show you guys the inside of the wig i'm um, at the end just so you guys can see how detailed i really am because you guys keeping your stitching close consistent and neat it helps build the construction overall with the wig again like i said this cap is really flexible If you guys are interested, um, I'm gonna link my nail tech below, you guys. Sorry I didn't film a nail vlog for my nails, but yeah, you guys, I have a new nail tech. I'm in love with her. So I'll definitely link her information down below because I know some of y'all are looking at this video and saying like, I love your nails. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but yeah, what I'm doing right here, you guys, I'm sewing actually on the closure. This is the old closure too. It's bald in the middle. This is my pretty perfect part closure. Basically, these closures, they help you give a skin appearance as far as the closure is concerned. As you guys can see, that's really wide. But when you put this wig on, it literally gives the illusion of a sewing. So that's the point of it. And as you guys can see, this wig is flat, honey. Look at that construction, sis. What? 
That's why the price is going up, sis, right there. Look at the construction, sis, okay? My wigs last for years, hand-sewn or machine-made. It doesn't matter. Um, quality is quality. Look at the detail. Yes, that's what I mean by keeping things close and consistent, you guys, because your wig will last forever. Now we're going to bleach this closure because doing my pretty perfect part, <laughs> um, yeah, it, you really don't need to bleach your closures. Honestly, that's a secret, but I'll do more videos like that coming up. But yeah, once everything is done and everything's molded, we're just going to come and press. If you guys also want me to do a very detailed tutorial on how to make a wig start to finish, giving you guys all the keys, all the details, then definitely like this video and comment down below. Um, I definitely have a, a virtual wig class coming up at the end of this month. So yes, yeah, just stay tuned and I got you. So we're just going to press everything out. As you guys can see, I sectioned out the baby hairs and everything. I did a little light customization and now we're just going to go in and press the roots. Um, I'm in the habit of just pressing my roots before I get into styling only because I feel like it ensures that your wig is going to be extremely flat <laughs> extremely 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 flat no lumps no bumps again that's just how i like my wigs a wig is just supposed to lay natural it's supposed to lay flat you know it's never supposed to be high or bumpy it just makes it not appeasing to the eye when you look at it it makes it look like a wig and again like i said you guys this um particular wig is my pretty perfect part wig so it's supposed to look at like a sewing when you have it on period so i know a lot of people are gonna look at this part like it's so wide i hate it so much again sis it's shedded again i've had this closure also for three years it's a 12 inch closure four by four this is the foam i will be using today um i got it from my local beauty supply store i love it it works for me so yeah this is what i use so as you guys can see, I spray them directly on the baby hair. I try to get them as saturated as possible just so they can move in the direction I need them to move. And I'm also gonna set them after this with a little bit of Gorilla Snot as well just so they can have a little bit more hold because the foam is fine, but I like my baby hairs to stay in place. <laughs> you know, I don't want to take off the wig and have to do my baby hairs over. So that's why I go back in again with a little bit of Gorilla Snot. So that's just a little key, you guys. You can literally mix it in a little foam a little gorilla snot for your baby hairs and they will hold a little bit more and they will still give a really soft look and don't judge yourself too much if you're a beginner with baby hair again sis sometimes baby hair can take three minutes or they could take 15. so you know it just all depends on the look that you're trying to go for so what we're going to do now is I'm going to wrap it up, let that dry. And now we're going to get into styling. Um, we're, do, we're doing my signature curls today, guys. I think this is a one-inch curling iron, a curling barrel from Tresemme. I got it from Walmart some years back. I got it on a quick, you know, a quick buy because I needed something right then and there. And I wound up loving it. So, yeah, you guys. I think it was like $10 at my local Walmart. So yeah, <laughs> you guys can get amazing styles. It's not about the curl and iron, it's about the technique. So get into the technique, honey, cause I got you. Once that's done, as you guys can see, I pin my scarf down just so it's all everything in place. I take it off, sis, and now let's do this part, girl. Ooh, honey, it's not a game. So, <laughs> all right guys, um, being that this part has shedded, as you guys can see, and it looks a hot mess. I can replace it and I can, you know, do a little revamp on it and just ventilate hair in it, but we're not gonna do that. I don't have the time and we're just, you know, the vibe. So we're gonna get into my palette, my lace palette with the color of my shade, the color of my skin. This is a palette we'll be releasing soon, you guys. You guys have been asking for me for this palette. I'm so excited to release it. So stay tuned, you know, with this COVID-19 stuff, sis, we're waiting on the vibes. So. What we're going to do is we're going to color our part, the color that we wanted, the color of our skin tone. And as you guys can see, I put um, just a white piece of paper or cardboard underneath the closure just so I can see exactly what I'm doing. And I, I can see underneath it, I can see where the hair is laying on a wig cap sometimes. You're not going to see the true form of where you need to go. So then we're going to take some spray from the beauty supply store as well. Um, I don't know the name of the spray. I'm going to leave it, link it below because I can't really, I don't know the name of it on hand right now but we're gonna use some hairspray um some colored hairspray and we're gonna just spray the part now you guys don't want to spray this too close to the part because it can make it look like a little bay genie but <laughs> i don't even say i don't even know if i said that right but yeah you don't want to spray it too close to the part you guys want to just spray it 
further away just to give the appearance of a fuller part now i'm going to take my quick cover my touch up i spray that also you guys and what i do is i just fill off the little parts towards the edge of the closure only because I don't want it to really bleed into the baby hairs. So this I can control it a little bit more other than the spray. So I spray the little, um, I spray the little, I guess like wand and then I just directly put it where I need it to go just so it can be even more neat and I can create a straight line. Now with this technique, you guys, you definitely have to be careful. The product is wet so it can get a, a really, <laughs> really, really messy, but you want to definitely blow dry it after just so it won't transfer onto the hair or anywhere else, you know, damaging lace or anything else like that. And you know, once you wash this product, it really comes out the hair honestly so once i wash my hair then i will have to do this process all over this is not permanent this is really temporary but it definitely gives you you know just a little tip if you want to reuse your closures and frontals look how good that is sis yes i love it look at it you can't tell me nothing now that part is perfect period so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just blow dry it we're gonna blow dry it dry just so that the product doesn't transfer or anything and just so it can soften up again you guys when you initially use this product it's going to be really intense and when it dries it dries like a little bit more natural so yeah that's just a tip hopefully that works for you guys so now let's slay her on the mannequin yes sis my mannequin is cute love her but yeah we're gonna put her on a mannequin and yeah you guys thank you guys so much for watching get into these mannequin slays and until the next video i will see you guys later peace